to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more content like this. And let's just get straight into it. Today's video is an apartment video, apartment tour. We went and toured the Deco Apartments. You know what? This is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and just take a look at the maps. Deco Apartments are just along Evans Avenue and you have Mad Greens here which is honestly such a bomb place to get salads. Like if you've never been there, go there. It'll literally change your life. I'm telling you. There's a McDonald's for late night pickups <laughs> there's a total wine and more there's a post office nearby and then if we zoom out you're not far from the cherry creek mall we're here and then the downtown area is just along spear and here we are that's the downtown area so you're not super close to downtown and i can't show where these apartments are compared to downtown because then my apartment will show or at least my location and i don't want to do that so just use your imagination <laughs> it's up here there's the university of denver there's a target over here and a lot of other parks in the area with a golf course nearby it's honestly a really good area i like this area a lot okay so i really like this apartment i thought it was honestly super nice and cute the reason that the unit that we saw didn't have the full balcony is she said because when they were building it, the builders built out a little bit too far. So they weren't able to put the full balcony on that side. So you get a little piece, but you can still open the door and like kind of stand outside. So at least that's kind of nice. I guess it's like a big window that you can open. Also really quick, just apologizing for the lighting. The sun is like going down. So I'm trying to film this really quickly. I've had a really busy day. Here's a map of the whole place. And here are, or here is the unit that we toured. So what they actually have two different colors for the cabinets that you can choose. So they have white, which I really like. The white one is what we toured. That looks super clean and like, I really like that. <laughs> and then the other one is like a dark espresso color, maybe chestnut color. I don't know if you guys can see it there. You know, it's really, I guess, personal preference. What would be your best option? We went and toured a one bed, one bath. Okay, and this one was 799 square feet. So pretty much 800 square feet. And honestly, I really like it. So again, I really like the gray flooring. I really feel like gray flooring is such a vibe these days. I feel like a lot of places have gray flooring and I feel like it's really popular right now. So I really like it. I personally would prefer the white cabinetry over the like espresso or like brown color just because I feel like the white makes it look more clean and also bright in the actual apartment itself over the dark color, if that makes sense. I feel like that does really make a difference. And then you do get an island then you kind of don't have to get like a dining table and you have a little bit more room for your living room stuff or you can still get a dining table whatever you want to do i wouldn't get a dining table if i had an island just because i would throw some bar stools up there just like i did here use that as my table but honestly i sit on my couch and eat so honestly the kitchen is pretty big i feel like you have more room in the kitchen than you do in the living room the living room is honestly pretty big and it connects to the balcony or like the half balcony that you see here you have room for like your couch a carpet coffee table and a nice tv stand honestly you have like a pretty big wall as well so you could get like maybe a bigger entertainment center if that's something that you're into or just a basic tv stand like i have here i got mine at ikea for 120 20 bucks so and again because this apartment is staged I really feel like that kind of helps you guys get an idea of how you guys can style it as far as like hanging stuff up plants decor furniture whatever you guys are gonna do I mean I know a lot of people don't buy new furniture every single time they move I certainly don't art I feel like you can change I feel like like decor and stuff like that that's pretty easy to change and then also if you are already moving with furniture you can choose between the different colors of the units that way you know it maybe matches your furniture 
furniture a little bit better. Going into the bedroom, I honestly really like the bedroom. It's pretty big. I think that was a queen. It looked pretty big, but I'm pretty sure that was a queen size bed that was in there. So you can fit a queen in there and the two nightstands as well. And then the windows in the bedroom are honestly pretty big. So there is carpet in the bedroom. If you're not about that, just be aware of that. I don't mind having carpet in the bedroom, but not only do you have room for your bed and two nightstands, you also have room for a dresser or you can add like two chairs or something cute to make it look really nice. And then you do get a really big closet, which is super nice. You guys know I'm a sucker for a big closet. Having a big closet is so important because even if you don't have a lot of clothes, you can store like snowboards in there. You, you can store gear in there. Big closets are useful. And then of course you have the bathroom as well, which the bathroom comes before the closet and the door as well for the bedroom is like a sliding door. So it's not your average door. And I feel like that's pretty unique. Yeah, you just have your regular bathtub with the shower, which I always say is super nice because then you can take baths with your bath bombs. And I can't do that right now because I have a standing shower. So you also have the white cabinetry in the restroom and the gray flooring as well. I think everything is really pulled together and it looks super clean and like seamless. I really would love to live here, especially um, I think it's a really good location too. I'm just gonna go over these fees really quickly with you guys. I accidentally just ripped this, but here's the person that toured me her information if you guys wanna go and check her out or you know get a place from her. At the time of application, the fee is $31.25 per application or per applicant. Security deposits for studios and one bedrooms are $150. For two bedrooms, it's $250. And for three bedrooms, it's $350. And proof of income and any conditional deposits are due within 24 hours. Otherwise, your application is subject to denial. Cancellations after approval will result in $175 admin fee for liquidated damages. Due at move in, administrative fee is 175 prorated rent parking pet rent and storage parking and storage first parking space is $50 a month second is 75 only one vehicle per lease holder storage space is 50 to 75 a month pet policy $30 per pet per month pet deposit $100 per pet and pet fee is 250 per pet there are restricted breeds and the income requirements are two months worth of pay stubs downloaded directly from providers as PDF, three months worth of bank statements directly from provider as PDF. Additional information, it is Deco's pleasure to offer 100% non-smoking community. Quoted pricing does not include monthly utility costs, electric, water, sewer, trash, gas, pest control. Renter's insurance is required throughout occupancy. Yeah, just ending this video really quick because like it's already really dark. Okay, so I went ahead and turned on a light really quick just because it was really dark and honestly that made such a big difference. I should have probably had the light on the entire time, but that's the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, become a member of my squad so you can get more content like this and also give this video a thumbs up so that I know you guys like this video and want me to keep doing apartment tours and don't be afraid to leave me some comments down below letting me know what you guys want to see from me. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye. Fearless.